man. Hey, <laughs> April Fool's time. It is. Now, you know what? When I get on live, here they come. Every time, it never fails. Man, I'm ready to go back on, on vacation. What? <laughs> I was gonna ask, do you have this switch so I can order them my Starbucks? How are you gonna order it? My, I have cash up for it. Who gonna take you? Mama. You forgot I had cash up? Asia, I'm sick of you. <laughs> Bye. Do you have it? Uh, I guess. Bye. What does mean? You choose how to play. Link? Link to who? My card. You send this team to my card and I'll pay. I'll catch it. Hi, right, Asia. <laughs> it has to be now. No, it don't. Please. Hey, y'all. <laughs> hold on a minute, y'all. Hold on, hold on. I don't know what happened, but I just want me. So there I am. Hey y'all. What's up? How y'all doing? Uh totally sassy T from the 803. I am here with another live. How are you? Yes, Viola, I am home. Hey, it's Tay T. Hey boo. <laughs> it was nice meeting you and your son. Yes. It was so nice meeting you. I'm so glad. <laughs> Little style Arista, honey. She got style, okay? Um, y'all know everything on this channel is alleged. In my opinion, it is for learning, teaching, entertainment purposes only. Uh, if you have not subscribed, y'all don't know what y'all missing. Y'all need to subscribe to the channel, okay? Uh, we just had uh, mimosas with Melody. I call it MWM4, okay? It was awesome. We got to see live footage from this channel. And there are going to be many, many, many more events, okay? Many, many more that I will bring to you guys, all right? Um, so join my Patreon, join the channel, and go and subscribe to my backup channel, Back to Reality with Sassy T. So now, my backup channel, I think I'm going to start doing the lives like, events okay i'm gonna do like a travel vlog for that so y'all can see everywhere we go when mail has stuff going on you'll see so and y'all can give to the channel all ch all things give to giving to the channel goes through to this travel vlog okay hey sheila briscoe i'm glad you made it home safely yes i'm definitely joining okay hey, it's tt <laughs> We had a ball, y'all. Y'all, it was like a sisterhood. It was so nice, okay? I really enjoyed myself. Hey, Ren Bass, Yvette Bell, Sheila Briscoe, Teresa Wright, Mary Willis, Creole Girl, Sheree Hill, Sandra DuBose, uh, them a little, just tipping in. Dee Brown is in the house. Bea Martin, Sheila Massey, all, and Alyssa Triplett are all members. Mama Bees, Terry T, Baby Davis for life, for life. <laughs> hey, boo. Georgia Leo, Mama B, okay. Uh, Tigra, uh, 01 April Fools. <laughs> Y'all, I forgot it was April Fools. I know the April Fools out here acting a fool, okay. And um, Carlos is one of them. Uh, Rabbits Running, welcome to the 
live. Hey, Aries, love, Candace Cotton. Um, hey, uh, is Braylon in here? Diane Stevens. Hey, Braylon. What's up, Bray Bray? Yeah, I had to put Braylon in uh, contempt of court last night, okay? Ooh, child. Contempt, contempt, contempt. Ooh. Uh, I see lots of pictures and videos. Yes. I have so many pictures. I did send a video to Miss Van. I hope she got it and enjoyed it. Uh, but I have so, so many pictures, y'all. So I'm going through them. <laughs> I did nothing wrong. <laughs> nothing, nothing. Okay, Brayden. Okay. I'm going to let you off this time. <laughs> Hey, Greta. Um, Braylon just showed. Uh, don't he always showing out? You are definitely one of my favorites. Thank you, Candace Cotton. Thank you. Melody needs to come to California. Baby, just tipping in. I definitely be in California. If she goes to California again, I would definitely be in California. Okay. I have to take a week <laughs> and then come out there. All right. I'm saving all my time. Y'all, I'm building my time so for these events at work, okay? So, you know, Greta, I went back and I changed everything. It says give it 24 hours. So if it's not there tomorrow, I am going to inbox again. Early, I told you you were in contempt. Yeah, he was in contempt showing his tail. We need her in Texas. I got a feeling she'll probably come to Texas one day. Hey, Crystal Hargis, what's up? Hey, 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 hey. Or Shannon Bradley, hey, boo. Um, Mary Willis, Braylon. Yeah, we had a ball last night. We had to put coleslaw on, on trial, y'all, on trial, okay? And the verdict is she's still going to be a hoe. Okay, that, that's the verdict. The verdict is. Okay, we tried to. We had a good side and we had a bad side, but the bad side won this one. Next week is Wanda. Wanda, it's not Wanda. Wanda, okay, it's Wanda. I thought you were going. I thought you were going to get your thing. The, the, the L O, the Lato. Oh. Oh, <laughs> y'all had me cracking up last night. So <laughs> oh, y'all just don't know. I got plenty of character outfits, okay? <laughs> She's still a big dummy. She is, Candace. She is. She is. Nobody can do a Wanda Tisha Boys like that. <laughs> Wanda, honey. Wanda. Stop lying. Stop lying. My baby ain't no rug girl. She ain't no girl girl. <laughs> Y'all need to stop lying. No wonder you need to stop lying. Poor child. Hey, Brittany Janae. Love your character too. Says thank you. <laughs> Y'all a mess. We had to make y'all laugh, y'all. We try to keep it positive on all the channels, okay? Do we really need to continue to discuss her? Um, well, you know, sometimes we don't, but it, you know, the algorithm likes it. So, um, and you know, YouTube is about money. Um, I, and we don't get paid a lot unless you got multiple platforms. And I only have, I do have multiple, but I only do YouTube. I'm starting to get into Instagram a little bit. I do have a Facebook page. It's a uh, um, Love and Mary Chance for Review our sassy tea, okay? So when it comes back on, baby, we're going to be throwing reviews over there, questions, all kinds of stuff. But my following is getting up over there. Oh, hello, hello, Linda Gamble. Yes, we need to <clears throat> continue to let people know not to be like AC. Yes, Lord. Because, honey, this is what you don't do. And if you're going to be a hoe, be a good one. At least have some value. <clears throat> Says I can't stop saying how beautiful you look this weekend. Oh, Marshannon, thank you. Thank you. 
I was a little bit out of my comfort zone, but <clears throat> I did it. Just having the judge was too much. I was too much. Really? You think so? <coughs> <coughs> Hold on, what's that? Oh, never mind. Hey, baby girl, 1981. That's the point. You got to be too much. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. Every time I get in the car, step outside, I get this itchy throat. Oh, my God. Hey, Dragonfly Alchemist. You love the job, drug, the judge, yeah. Hi, just dipping in. <laughs> Thank you, Candace. Nothing wrong with being a 304 if that is what you want to do. Just keep quiet and keep paid for doing what you do. Amen. Hey, but we get paid. <clears throat> Her and the Issa Bassett. Bassett took me out. I saw it on Sassy. <laughs> <coughs> Y'all, excuse me. Mm. Oh. Ah. Every time I come out here, I get it's this allergies, pollen. And I know what pollen it is. It's the, I never get this bad until <clears throat> pecan trees uh, bloom. And this is the year they bloom <clears throat> every two years. And this is the year it bloomed. The last time I got like this was 2021, end of 21, 22. Uh, I know what it is. Uh, let me see. Tea Leaf 5280, raining and snowing at my house. What, my Shannon? For real? It, it's snowing? Can we have a little bit to kill all of this? Only problem with AC being a hoe, she talks too much and tells too many of her details. True. And she tell it for free. Hoes do everything for money. She still ain't learned that. Okay. Says I'm um, the same way. I can't even get in my car without coughing and sneezing. Sometimes I sound like a man. Me too. Smell like I smoke and I ain't touch no cigarette. I'm like, good Lord. Now I was sitting in my house doing fine. What I'm getting ready to do is buy me a, um one of those um air things to circulate the air. That's what I'm getting ready to buy me. I'm gonna save up me a little bit of money and get me one because y'all, ooh, ooh, coastline Easter basses looks pitiful like her messy ponytail. <laughs> Tell me. This is Paris. She got some money in the egg. She got um, some fingernails on the dollar store. She got um, um, some mascara. Now, why did you give your girl mascara at this age? <sighs> May I put 100 bills in eggs for her kids to find Sugar Mama failed to Sugar Mama said <laughs> $200. And how much money she put in Paris? Twenty. I. I'm from East Tennessee, and it's horrible there. Oh, I think it's horrible everywhere, y'all. She needs to get a job. Child, that thing thinks she's too good to get a job. She came to you with a job of hoeing, right? Okay. Because if she was a good one, she'll have a car. She'll have her own place. She'll have her own business that's booming. She's steady trying to copy mail. She don't order little inserts, little wrapping paper she got from the Dollar Tree. She tell me, y'all, she see my boxes. Child, that's why she here broke. She a Virgo, a broke old ho. That girl does not like money. She can't like money. She cannot like money because she did. She be holding on. She said, yes, it's time for me to do some spring cleaning. I'm going to get out the old and come in with the new. What man you got this time? Okay, who man? You always say that. And here come that tight butt, tight suit, line A, Martell Slopeless. 
here come right back up in there. Hey, Lanita Vance, right back up in there. You fall for it every time, Razorback. That background music had me, I know. <laughs> yes, this Colorado weird weather, we have had all four seasons in one day. Good gracious. I'm in the DFW area and the pollen is 100. Child, the pollen went in the fight right now. I usually can fight back, but, you know, it grabbed me by my throat. And I said, okay, you got me for now. <laughs> but I ain't giving up. Because, like, she that used to go basket in them tight um, ponytail, just like her. I'm waiting on Melody to order some more tights. Me too, just Tiffany. I, I, I don't know what. Got all of them gone. Every one of them gone. She talking about y'all just be showing out. That don't make no sense. As, as I'm saying, I can't even, I can't go nowhere. Can't, can't go to the car. When I go out, I have to run, y'all, to get in the car so and hold my breath so none of this stuff will get in my nose. Ugh. Hey, Veronica Monroe. It would be 60 degrees by the end of the week. Good Lord. <laughs> Greta, this will be an hour-long live due to your allergies. You are 15 minutes into the live right now. Yay! Hey, Carol Toomer, Mel C, Charlene W., my member. She wants to paint a new person, child. She's still the same old person. Tell me, I'm scared to get this punch sucked out. You will. You should be scared. You got a, you got a backdoor booty. You went out there and got a back door booty. Where you go? Oh, to the what's the name? My daughter losing some weight chat. Mm. Okay, little mama. Okay. Thelma, is it Paris too old for Easter basket? That's what I thought. My mom been looking at me. A Easter basket, girl. You over five. <laughs> you don't get it. You start getting Easter basket after five. Not Easter. Easter. Easter basket. That's what it is. Easter basket. Oh, one that look like the Easter bunny, honey. The best one, Easter bunny, honey. Hopping around. Get in there. Get in Who going to hire her? Nobody. Nobody. Girl, she reaching for a girl. Ooh, she pitiful, y'all. All right, let's get started. She better try and get a job doing something. Maybe she can make some Easter baskets all year round. <laughs> hey, Trish K10. Hey, Precious J. Hey, Sassy. Is Coso trying to compete with Mel with those tired pink tights? Yeah. Child, look. She done went. To TikTok and got them tights off of TikTok, okay? She don't, it just like Stormy done went to Alibaba and put her print on her um, body glaze. Then you can go to Alibaba and buy about 100 um, things of that, that um, body glaze and put your own thing on it, okay? You know, because Stormy used to make her own, but now it's beeswax. That's Miss Merlin, real quiet. Yeah, she real quiet. She know not to say nothing. Her boy is in trouble. Her boy, her boy. I got a good son. Him a good son. Yeah, him is. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My son is a good son. He ain't, he out here working his fingers to the bone. He out here moving his hips in and out. He's slinging at 3.5. I got a good boy. Hey, Marsha Eden, y'all ain't noticed. May have been having them kids for three weeks now. Uh-huh. I told y'all that Ninja ain't got nowhere to stay. Yes, Marsha even wonder why. When you, how you gonna have your kids when you ain't got nowhere to stay? I hope Marlene not have it. Um, yeah, he probably stand with his mama. And Marlene said, I ain't got no room for babies over here. You got me out my house. If you had to kept me in my house, you could have stayed here and had the babies here. But no, nah, you went out there and sold my house. But you a good boy, though. 
You sold my house and then took the 40 k out there acting like you had some real money. Hey, Cricket 22. <clears throat> What's up, Miss Cricket? That is what they say, that she uh, white label her stuff. That's why I heard Martez a good son. But she had to sell her house. That's what I say, Precious Jeff. My son be like, we ain't selling nothing. We gonna catch these payments up. I'm gonna work and make sure you stay in this house. Yep, I sure would. Issa Bassett, give me some cleaning supplies, tissue papers, and products. <laughs> uh, did Marlene pay mail her 17K or go to Psyche? Bear? Child, ain't nobody paid mail her money. Where Marlene gonna get it from? She ain't got no money. She had to go back to work. Because her son can't keep his ping in his pants. The ping in the pants, it kept slipping out through the little zipper. That's the far as it got, the little head just peek out a little bit. He couldn't keep it in there. She needs to go wash that pissy pink outfit. Child, she wear every day, all day. If it ain't the pink one, it's the little black one. If it ain't the black one, it's the little pink one. I'm sorry to see that diaper booty and that hair all over her head. Just look like she been thrown. Hey, Deborah Moore, drank for all at working in male favor. Yeah. No way Marlene should have lost her home. No, but you know, when you got a son that only think about him and his pleasures, that's what happened. Real sons think about the big page. Real husbands think about the whole outcome. Real men think about what they have to lose. Is that coochie worth my millions? Ain't no coochie and no dangle ain't worth no millions of dollars. Okay. You better go buy you one. Marlene had the audacity to call me a lazy a long time ago. Yeah, her son, T. Lee, is lazy. Man, the one got him through school. I, I guess she forgot. Mm. We encouraged him to go back to school because he was a criminal. Jail bound, honey, for 25 years. Jail bound. You hear me? Hey, K. Hayes, I didn't realize it was three weeks, but I did notice the, the post two weeks they were with Mel. Well, this is the third week. It started this week. It's the third week. Actually, this is her week to have them, right? Because last week was his week, right? Two more hours, 50% off of 7th Avenue. Oh, that's crazy. The lady thing uh, they should have sold was her house. Now he has nowhere to run. Nowhere to run straight to jail. Hey, Jessica, Sophia says, I have missed a chapter in the T. Now, what happened to Hotel House? He moved into on the show. I don't think he's there no more. Mm -mm. I heard he, he had to move. Now, whether he moved or not, I don't know, but I heard he had to move. That ninja, they don't believe in staying in one place, dude. Every year, they renewing leases, or they they ducking leases, okay? Let's put it that way. Because the little house he was rent from is from some Chinese people. Now, I think I don't know. I know. I know. I mean, Martel gets his um, email or pay the money court order. Why is he not in contempt of the court order? Who knows? Who says he not? He might be on the run. She looks so lost, don't know which way to go. She sure do. Martel, you really lost your family for that little girl sitting up there making Easter baskets. Why the kids ain't making their own Easter baskets? Why? My kids used to love to make their own Easter basket. And then I used to have them, they'd be in a contest to see who win. And then whoever win the Easter basket, yeah, I say Easter basket. Oh, excuse me. They would get the money. But she up there having more fun than the kids. That's a shame. No, he's not. My son take care of me after my husband passed away two years ago. Yes, that's what kids are supposed to do. Sparkle girl. Martell is probably in Atlanta staying with Carlo. <laughs> Carlo said, I take care of you, Martell. Just come on. 
Live your life. Live it unapologetically. Come on in. My African, I, my house is so big, the African won't even know you day. Trust Marley knows who is the lazy one. She know. She know her, she know her son ain't no good. She the one said he wasn't no good. Just like your daddy. That's what she said now. Uh, hey, um, Naja. Hey, Naja, my memory. And with Carlos in the back room. Child, this show will humble you, baby. It humbled a lot of them. Hold on. You can't get it on? Oh. Um. A real man would have said, my wife held me down and made me look good, right? Right, Precious J. Thelma Little said, Molly, remember when they was um, on that yacht in distance? Um, so that thought that was who she, who he is, the boss. Who is the boss? He sh- and, and Mel didn't make it no better. Mel said, you ain't never been on the yacht before? No, this is my first time. We're in jail. <laughs> Enjoy, okay. <laughs> really? Not a yacht? Well, if you hadn't kept if you kept your pin in your pants and been faithful, you had plenty of yacht experiences. Martel, Martel, sit your little bony ass down now, Martel. <laughs> sit it on down. Hey 32 shot photography. Hey boo. How you doing? Hey Sassy T. Hey Linda Morehouse. It was nice meeting you in person. Yes, it was. How you doing? Hope to meet you. I hope to see you again. Not meet you. We already done met. We hope to see each other again soon, hopefully. Martel. Martel, sit your little tight ass down. You act like you ain't never been on the yacht before. Well, 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 well. well yeah, you know, Mel, I, I, this first time I've ever been on the yacht. Mel, Mel, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is nice. This is nice. I, I, why did I mess up? Why? Why did I mess up? Why? He would get an angel to interpret what um she said. <laughs> oh, child. Uh, doing good. Great. Um, I, I'm glad everybody had a great weekend. Yeah, so that was the first time and the last time he ever been on the yacht. Him and um, Sloppy been on that little tugboat. And you know, they took it in the corner, okay? They probably went out there and say, hey, can we take a picture on y'all boat just to show my son what it feel like? And then people felt sorry for him because they seen that bird, you know, he was with. The bird he was with, you know, she looked broke down. They probably said, oh, bless the heart. Yeah, go ahead and y'all can take a picture because y'all probably won't ever take another picture again, okay? So they let him take a corner of the picture, all right? Stop, you said that right now. <laughs> Absolutely, absolutely not. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, you won't get another yacht ride. Not off of me. <laughs> yes, I hope I'm available for Melicon. Me too, Linda. Me too. Oh, Greta AC had the nerve to say Knox was going to be on the yacht on Mel's vacation. Got shook it. No, no outside of baby. Galatians chapter 6, verse 9. There shall not be any Noxus outside of babies on a family trip. Ends. Hey, uh, D. Brown, evidently Marlene didn't understand that Mel was the breadwinner in the family. She certainly wasn't the lazy one in the marriage. I don't think she knew how bad it was going to get. Nope. She honestly thought her son, her boy, mess with my boy. I don't know what's wrong with my boy. I mean, Marlene said it with bass in her chest. My boy. My boy. Working my boy to death. Yeah. Look at it. Sweat not dead. Oh, boy. Oh, lazy heifers. Man. Marquette, why you ain't got no money, boy? Son? But the mail had all the money. Hey, SFL, my member. Yeah, I believe you on point, says Martel not following 
fooling with AC at all lately. Maybe his situation has downed on downed on him. I feel like he has used AC a million times to get to Melody. And now that he finally realized that that girl don't mean nothing to Melody, he kind of been like, okay, now I got to tell the truth. I'm not in love with you. I'm trying not to pretend to be. I only use you to get to her. Okay? The same things we've been telling the idiot. And she could have had money. She could have had all kind of stuff. But she being loyal to a ninja that would never be loyal to her. Period. Huh? Yeah, just give me some butter pecan. Not with a lot of pecans and dogs. Um, so in my opinion, I do feel like, um, AC, she really thought that man loved her. And she couldn't, she had to know he didn't. There's no way your actions would line up with your words. His actions never lined up. He's always, everybody's been on the show except her. She's always in the limelight. He has denied her not once, not twice, a million times over. He has sat up on a panel and said that she was only 15%, and he was just missing that 15%. Then he sat up on the, uh, Tasha K and said, um, yeah, we just didn't know each other. After 10 years, three ABs and an uh, unwanted child, you want to say that? And you still didn't get it? Really? Then in December, or somewhere first of January, you know, they got into it big time. Y'all know that, okay? They got into it. She was talking about the kids like she always do. She's always, in my opinion, and uh, I agree with True T on this one. Oh, I agree with True T on everything just about. But this one, I got the um, info that they had gotten into it, the same thing. That they had gotten into it because she was um, downing the kids, but True T had the T. They say they got into it because shout out to True T because she wanted her son to have real bottoms. Uh, your son is not an Eminem kid, okay? Why you can't go buy him some red bottoms? All he gonna do is mess them up with them dragon feet of his. Oh, that's because she ruined things. As a side chick, yep, 15% a peasant, Lord and mercy. Yeah, T. Lee, and then turned around to say they just friends. She got duties. <laughs> Baby, you've been made a fool out of 276.5 times. Okay, how many more? Mm. And if he come back right now, the dummy will take him back. That's how dumb she is. Hey, Lakeisha Robinson, AC was trying her best to prove she took somebody's husband. Honey, Mel gave her that thing. And when she found out what he was, damn, I was struggling before you. I'm struggling with you. And now I'm struggling after you. Girl, get you. God, child, you a side chick. You shouldn't be struggling. Okay? The struggle, the struggle, it will. It will. It will, I said. That what teacher say. The struggle, it will. The what is real? The struggle. The struggle is real. Okay? I quaggle with my toe. I quaggle with my toe. My toe. I quaggle with him. You took some beautiful pictures. Thank you, Anita Vance. TT had me laughing so hard. <coughs> Talking about where is he going to in the red bottle. I ain't going nowhere. Ain't no. <laughs> TT time. I mean, uh, True T had me laughing so hard. I said, that girl knows she crazy as hell. <laughs> AC was trying her best to prove. Yeah, she wanted to prove, which I don't know why, but the ignorance of it all. The ignorance of it all. The mind of a side chick is, I got him. No, you don't. You never had him. And even after the wife goes or decides to stay, you never have him. You are still a side chick to another side chick. You was a side chick to that side chick. I mean, you was a, a side chick to every main chick. Damn. That's messed up, bro. Sir? Sir? 
That's because she run things as side chick. And guess what, Sassy? Belinda and Martell is following each other again. And also Destiny, a.k.a. Dusty Tackerberry. Uh, that don't surprise me, honey. That don't surprise me. He probably, uh, I don't know if Belinda, I, I think that Belinda, I don't even think she getting married. I don't think she getting married. Who wouldn't, who, it don't surprise me. I actually felt sorry for Marlene when they were on that vacation. She said it was the best time of her life and she never forget it. She was really melancholy, uh, uh, melancholy, uh, Mel treated Marlene well. Oh, yeah. She treated Marlene well. She treated Marlene like Marlene was her mom as well, okay? And she really enjoyed Mel and Martell together. She enjoyed the money coming in, but she enjoyed Mel because Mel took care of her. Okay, Mel, they had conversations. Mar Marlene know who her boy is. Marlene know who her boy is. He's a boy. And that's what he is, a boy. He never grew up. He just like his dad. Just like him. Look like him. Act like him. The epitome. But baby, if you ain't a strong woman, you want to pick me. He'll talk your drawers out. Oh, yeah. Not your ear. He will talk your drawers out. Okay, sis. So when you meet an encounter of Martell, you better be strong. But if you're horny, he's going to talk them out. He's going to dump that 3.5 up in. You're going to be disappointed. He's going to hype you up like you're the best lover ever. And you're going to be so disappointed. Mm, mm, mm. Shame, what a shame, what a shame. I don't want to talk to Martel no more, more, more. He's got a 3.5 at the door, door, door. He zipped down his zipper and called it a collar. He said he's going to make you and make you holler. I don't want to talk to Martell no more, more, more. Mm -hmm. uh, Marlene knew who, uh, hey, Darcelle Aaron, son, well, she probably knew every woman he cheated on Melody with. I have no empathy for Martell. Uh-uh. Mm -mm. Gotta say, Ray Charles could see Martell did not love AC. It was just a sex thing. That's all it was. And it was a, a, a when she was his flying monkey. That's what she was. She was his flying monkey. Whenever he wanted to make Mark Mel mad, and after he seen that Mel is so past this bull crap, and Mel is so elevated upon, um, she that that mess don't even bother her no more. He had to become real with himself. Martel had to sit himself down, and he had to look at himself. Tell, you. huh? <clears throat> Tell. You. I said, huh? And you know you don't love that girl, right? Yeah, I know what you're going to do, Tell. I can't live this lie no more. I can't pretend. Well, I'm just going to have to tell you. <laughs> and she's sitting over there in that apartment waiting for him to come back. Waiting. Waiting, still waiting. Oh, he'll be back. He always come back. That's what she's saying in her mind. See the little thing she throw out there. Yeah, don't get it twisted. He watching him. He watching him. But he ain't watching you like that. He wants you to move on. He really do. She almost 40 and starting to look it. She better let that stress go, looking old and run down. Show sure him. You ain't cooking. Huh? Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Sassy Martel is not on the show, has no speaking engagement. How is he living? He ain't. I heard he, you know, that's why he out here trying to um, pimp. You know, he's an old pimp. Well, he's a, a jigger hoe. Yeah, he a jigger hoe. Martel's a jigger hoe. He gonna lay that little ping ping wherever he can to make a dollar. Maria AC is looking raggedy. She is. 
Don't keep a hair up. Don't keep no makeup on her face. Getting out and <coughs> butt look like a pamper. <coughs> butt look like you're just sitting in them two little mustard seed legs. You know what I'm saying? Them two little grass piece legs holding all that pamper up. <laughs> she just not it. You ain't it, sister. You ain't it, sir. So, so I wasn't the only one. E, uh, even in mail and the kids read by the picture. They had all the Huntsville demons shook it, shook it to their core. If I was male, I wouldn't told all of them, hold your red bottoms up. We're going to take pictures on the stairs with everybody red bottoms right there. I would say it. <laughs> Planning doesn't have the conceptual uh, signif I don't know what you just said. Uh, uh, signative seal, cognitive ability to reflect. He's um, he's like an animal. Can't understand concrete directives, but no critical analytical skills. He has the dumb jock look, damn pat. Ooh, he sure do. Ooh. That's been passed up because he played football. That's it. He was just passed up. Can't read. Hey, two bless for you. Marnie and Sherry is um, only fans making be some money. <laughs> Marnie and Sherry is on only fan. Ooh. He might be our only fan showing that little 3.5. It is some freaky people out there, y'all, that want to see those little bitty things like that. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's some people say, you know, it's some women that like to see the big one, but it's some weird women out there that like to see them little ones. I don't know why. Why would you want to see something like that? If you want to see that, you can go buy your 99 cent of Vienna sausage, pop the thing, and there it is. Whoop, there it is. Hey, one crafty sister. sister. Hi. How are you? Uh, so 123 is 204 in the chat. Yeah, let's get that up. Uh, Thelma, not one fan into that account. <laughs> Timmy said, these demons in that house are tormenting AC looking swallowed. Braylon, you forgot to do your swallow last night. Next week, you got to realize more, you know, some people just should have swallowed. Yeah. Deep. Actually, uh, Sassy Mel and her kids did take a picture on the steps showing all their red bottoms. It was nice. Oh, it was so classy. So classy. Hey, Cece. Hey, Steph, yeah, I'm glad you made it back home safely. Me too, child. It don't take me long to get from Atlanta. Mm-mm. Trudy told AC to go to Walmart and buy her son some Spider-Man shoes and paint the bottom red. <laughs> She's so crazy, sassy. Not a gigolo. Yes, he's a gigolo. Throw. Yes. It really was a nice picture, Miss Gridley. It was. Hey, Tracy J. Wilson, my uh, member. Hi. Get the lights up, you guys. Get the lights up. So, y'all, we're going to go ahead and talk about um, the movie. Y'all, if y'all have not seen the autopsy of Jane Doe, y'all missing a treat. So, the movie starts out like um, it's uh, in a scene and it's a house. And the police and ambulance are all around, right? And so, hey, Justine Battle, welcome. Um, little bit, itty bitty. Um, and uh, the police walk in, so it's his family, and they're all ordered, uh, look like they all been shot. And then they go to the basement, and they find this girl perfectly intact, okay? Okay, never mind. Um, body perfectly intact, so they 
it, they don't understand it. They dig her out. And they um evidently they were at what? Another funeral home? I got to pay my Netflix bill on the third so I can watch it. Nah, it's good. It was crazy, but it was good. Um, So evidently, they got this body up. They took it to this family funeral home in the near town. Um, the dad, he was a forensic. Um, I, he did the autopsies. He took the pictures. He can tell you everything. His son was in training. OK, um, they brought the body in. And um, and the, the sheriff was like, we need it. We need the, uh, hold on, y'all, hold on. Um, so anyway, um, they take her to the downstairs in the morgue. They examine her body. Um, they, you know, uh, first you look at the skin. Okay, you try to find ligature marks. You try to find, pot, you know, punch your holes. It just good women dress like horses on OnlyFans. <laughs> I need to link to become a member. Um, it should be right beside the subscribe button, right, Teresa Wright? Uh, so as you know, that movie was scary to me. I can't do scary stuff. It wasn't scary. It was just suspenseful. It's on Netflix, uh, Tracy. Uh, just to say, Coastal may make a fine living, uh, fine living on OnlyFans if she wears a horse mask. You will be surprised at how much money people spend for women to dress up as a horse. Girls, it's weird in my opinion, but it's true. It's true. Uh, and so they get in. At least you're not at the hotel, right? They get in. What time is the game again watching it when you get home? What, what game? Okay, so they get to the um, mortuary, to the funeral home, and they start their investigation. So they looking around on this body, and as they're looking around, you know, if you notice the, the Jane Doe face, it seems like one minute she was, and then she was relaxed, and then she was smiling. Sorry, the name of the movie. Oh, um, the uh, autopsy of Jane Doe. Um. So they were looking at the body. They didn't see any ligature marks. They didn't see any puncture holes, but they noticed that her hands, her feet were like broken, but perfectly sitting up. Um, they noticed that um, she had what something in her mouth. It was a piece of paper. And uh, they took it out and it had some Roman neutral, new, um, seen, has everything fractured. Yeah, that was good. Um, it had Roman noodle, new, Roman noodles, Roman num numbers on it. Okay, Roman uh, numbers. So they put that aside. They took her pictures of her face, her hair. Um, they got dirt samples from her hair. They got stuff up under her nails. Um, and the dirt and stuff that they collected wasn't from around here. It was from up north, okay? So chicken head slots probably knows clownies probably resorted to scripting, twerking on a pole, bow, voguing for a male club. They need the money bands and make them dance. <laughs> and so... When they start getting into it, the, it's when weird stuff started happening. Now, the son noticed it first, but the daddy was so into it, you know, he didn't notice it. So both of them heard this door opening. 
and they go down the hall, y'all. At the thing in there, and it was the freaking girlfriend. Okay. She done scared the shit out of both of them, child. And it scared me too, cause I said, ah! She said, ah! I said, oh, ah! fool. Anyway, she comes in while they doing the um thing. She wants to see the bodies. Why? Why? I don't mean no harm, y'all. But why Caucasian? Uh, cautions. Caution people always want to see dead bodies. Yeah. Okay. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. What is my child doing? Hold on, y'all. What happened to my phone? Oh, hold on, you guys. Hold on. Something going on with my phone. Hold on. Okay, um, so anyway, they start to look at the body, okay, from scratch. It's the best movie. It's not horror, but it's on Netflix. will make you cry. Yeah, that's good. I saw that. Um, so they uh, start to look at the body. The girl breaks in, scared the, mom, the daddy and the son to death, and she wants to see the dead bodies, okay? Then the daddy... She was asking, why do they put a bell on the toe? And back in the day in Louisiana, some of the people would not be dead. And so they used to put bells on their toes. And back in some of the Southern old school times, they used to put bells on the toes. So if they started moving, the bell will ring and let them know that they wasn't, you know, passed on. And so they got ready to pull the thing back. The bell rung and scared the girl half to death. The dog, the, they were supposed to go out here in the sun, and the sun say, no, I'm going to stay here and help my dad. I'll meet you at a certain, certain time, okay? Um, So I'm glad you made it home safe. Hey, hey, uh, thank you for joining. So they start back. They start to, now, like I said, they got her stuff up on their fingernails. They looked at her toes. They looked at her mouth. Her tooth was missing. Um. Her, she had stuff coming out her nose. They looked at her ears. Um, then they decided to cut the skin, okay? On the inside, her organs were still intact. Intact. She bled. When you die, there's no bleeding, right? No bleeding. So she dies, and they cut her open, and they look at her. Uh, heart, of course, they pull it out. 
um they look at her gut and there is stuff and as they pull out they start pulling all this stuff out they roll back her skin and all these numbers and it's a whole scripture all inside her skin all inside the body so they had to decipher while wow, that was something it was they had to decipher um hey tina turner yeah uh it jails um but this one is like she was alive so they had to decipher and it was a uh it was a bible verse out of the old testament talking about witches being burned to the state and then when they looked at her um you know burned to the state and so i'm making this very um quick y'all they they read the book and burned to the state and then the son was like it's some crazy stuff going on the doors were opening right the bodies was coming out but the daddy he wasn't paying no attention but the son was like dad i think we should stop he said well if you want to stop you can i'm going to fix this uh you know dad was one of these hard heads okay you know when you start something you finish it but the son was seeing all the signs but the daddy wanted to keep on cutting and can out okay he wanted he just had to keep cutting and he kept on cutting and he seen that damn skin and that skin was had all this bible verses on it talking about burning witches to the state the son said yeah i think this is freaky i think we need to stop and by that time they heard um you know they got the reading and then by that time you know the thunderstorm came child the lights got the flicking off and on those was opening and shutting and then here come the dead yeah i think we need to cut this short oh you think so okay so by that time they heard this thing open and by that time it was dark and the daddy behind the sun with an axe okay then they go and come to find y'all come they did some shit. they in there next thing you know the sun in them and the door opened, he threw the, the daddy threw the axe. Chop. It was the girlfriend. It was the girlfriend. Kill the girl, dad. Kill the dad. Get it in the donator. Then the dad is oh, we got to get out of here. Bird screaming and can. Oh, I know I'm missing some stuff. So they killed the girl. The son was upset. They go back. The lights are blinking off and on and suddenly you see the dead body with the one with the face that got shot he walking toward it that's why he threw the axe okay because he thought he was throwing it at a dead body but it wasn't a dead body it was the girl that 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 girl that dead body was playing tricks on their mind okay passing on that movie uh-uh just tipping in it's good what say what <laughs> Not going, I wish I would have passed it. It was scary. It was not. Then, and then all you heard was all this wind and thunder and lightning. So they go back, okay? They go back down the hall, both of them holding on, okay? They said, we got to go back. So they go back in, they reading all this stuff, and they trying to decipher what is going on. So what they did was put them back together okay and they got the um they got to uh go back in there the girl something happened to the boy to the daddy where she stabbed him or something um and he fell apart he fell back so he's he's surprised he um got you know what i'm saying he was good with that they say well what we gotta do is burn the place down that i didn't understand this crazy ass shit they gonna set the place on fire with all that embalming fluid and they standing there did that make sense so they set the place on fire then they put <laughs> then they put the fire out because <clears throat> the daddy got burnt they put the fire out then <clears throat> the son he was running all over the place they trying to get out <laughs> <coughs> sorry y'all 
know, they trying to get out, right? They trying to get out. They hear these people outside. Come out, open the door. They trying to open the thing because, see, they're in a cellar. You remember back in the day where people used to go in the cellar, in a, in a storm cellar? That's where they at. Come to find out, that was the ghost, okay? The ghost was telling them, come on out. But he was that ghost was playing with them. They couldn't get out, so they had to go back in there with the girl. The girl was, I mean, she burnt down the house. She killed the girl. She, um, the bodies was coming out. Flames everywhere. The daddy was hurt real bad. He goes up to the girl. I'm sorry they hurt you. I don't know what made him think he can bargain with this, this witch. Because come to find out, y'all, she was a witch. Somebody tortured her from the inside out. Okay? Inside out. Um, he he was begging her. He said, I know you in pain. I know you in pain, but just don't hurt my son. Now, <laughs> I don't understand this. But if he had left the son there by himself, then they would have said he killed everybody because he had everybody gut on blood on him, right? So that thing started to, she was split open, right? Y'all, she started to heal. And as she was healing the daddy, what they did to her, she did to the daddy. She broke they, his arms. Then she broke his feet. Then he was set on fire on the inside. He was hollering and the son couldn't get to, get to him. And he, um, his tongue was out. You know, cut his tongue out because they cut her tongue out. Okay. And um, he was, he, he ended up dying. Okay, crooked up like that. Crooked in. I mean, just messed up. Child. The son over there hugging his daddy instead of trying to get the hell out of there. It wasn't going to happen. He wasn't going to win, no how. But anyway, that thing, all kind of stuff was coming at him. Child. And the, and the girl, she started healing up. And she was back new. Just laying there. Okay, at noon, Chas, you know, went one of them bodies came after him. She don't got in one of them damn bodies and then chopped him in the back. So, everybody in that day, guess what happened in the morning? The sheriff come, everybody dead in there. The cat died, they had a cat, she killed the cat. She she killed the daddy first. She killed the cat first. I forgot to tell y'all. The cat was in there, and he always would bring back uh, mice and stuff. She killed the cat. Then she killed the daddy. Then she got she killed the um the girl. No, she killed the girlfriend, the daddy. And then the son was trying to get out. She turned around and got in one of them bodies, and the body killed him. So he laid down like this. Okay, the daddy was in there like crooked up. The cat was burnt up, and they all come in there, and their body intact. Everything burnt up, bodies everywhere, but she laying there intact. Ain't nothing right. I wouldn't have touched that fool, period. So they get the body out. They say, what happened? This is the same scene we just came from. Duh. Come to find out. They get the body. They take the body to a whole area, okay? They put it's a black guy driving it to a whole, they taking it to a bigger funeral home, okay? Before that man could get there, that body, she done got that man. You heard the music, and then it went out. So the moral of the story is, this body been killing people since the 1800s, and it's been going to funeral home, funeral home, people been, Finding people dead, but her body will be there and they couldn't figure out the mystery. And when they cut her open and figure out the mystery, she take their life. And then they come in, they can't figure out what happened. They take the body and then to another funeral home, she take their life because she was mad. She was an angry spirit and they burned her at the stake. They bound her. They broke her bones. They cut her tongue out. Okay. 
They took pictures, um, pieces of a brain. Let me go back a little bit. They cut her brain. They took some tissue. They looked at her tissue, and her brain was alive. Yeah. That's when they decided to get the hell out of there. <laughs> I'm going to be gone in a minute. <laughs> That's when they said, let's get the hell out of here. When the brain was, when they look at that brain tissue up on that microscope, and that, that brain was alive, they got the hell on. They said, uh-uh, we got to stick up. Okay, y'all, y'all need to, moral of the story, clear people need to stop exploring and mind their business. <laughs> And it's always got to be a brother somewhere to get hurt. <laughs> Seems like Sassy really enjoyed that movie. It was good. It was good, y'all. Baby, that thing had me on pins and needles, okay? That woman, that thing, that body still traveling. <laughs> She's still traveling, y'all. I'm going to be watching this in the daytime. <laughs> the sheriff told them to take her to another town. Yeah. Way not, you know, not the little small town way on up, so she can kill a hundred thousand people. I guess. Oh, there's no way I'm watching this, Kelly. Y'all, come on! I don't like scary movies, but it wasn't scary to me. It was suspenseful. Man, we would not be watching any more of these. Scary movies. <laughs> I like movies like Salt. Yeah, that was a good movie. It was good. It was good, but honey, y'all, let's welcome. Oh, Teresa, she, y'all, we got a new member. Teresa Wright is here, y'all. She is a T Crew member. She joined the T Crew family. Welcome, Teresa. Oh, I don't know, Miss Sass. I will have to pass. I, I, I live alone, and I know I will be up all night watching SpongeBob. <laughs> I watch scary movies during the day, so it's not so scary. I watch my, I laid in the bed and watched it, and my husband was going to work. <laughs> Prayed about it, went on to sleep. You have said enough. <laughs> wow, I want to see this. Tilly, it's good. What movie is? It's the autopsy of Jane Doe. Baby, when they seen that bread, that brain tissue was alive. Dad and son looked at each other and said, let's get the hell out of here. But they start throwing all that stuff and try to burn everything. Nothing burn. Didn't nothing burn. Nothing but the daddy. Okay. I've been up all night. I wish I would have passed. It. Oh, it was scary. Oh, I don't know if I can watch this movie. Flower Bloom. Now, come on. Y'all. If I can watch it, y'all can watch it. Yeah, so the girl, honey, the girl, she in another town finna rises up, okay? I think I'm going to stick to my Tyler Perry movies. <laughs> yeah, I like thrillers. This was a scary one. It was good, though. Yeah, it was good. It was good. Everyone listen up. Please put on sunscreen on because people are getting skin cancer, so protect yourself. Yes. Hey, yo. Don't mess with my yo-yo. Hey! <laughs> All right, Greta, I live by the woods. <laughs> hey, yo, yo! <laughs> oh, Sassy set us up, y'all. <laughs> it was good. We got no uh, a taste of sin. Is the next one? Okay, that is good. We got now. That's not scary. It's got a moral clause to it. Okay. It's not scary. I promise y'all. A Taste of Sin. All right. Again, what movie is this? So I know not to watch it. The Autopsy of Jane Doe. They say, I love the way you're telling this movie. <laughs> Baby, they set that place on fire. Then and, then and so they say, we got to get the hell up out of here. They couldn't even get out. They were stuck. I don't know what the, what made them think they can beat the ghost. Hey, guys, Grace. Hey, boo. How you doing, sweet pea? No, y'all do not want. 
you not watch this movie? <laughs> no more scary movies, sassy, please. Okay, y'all. God. Oh. Morbid uh, is what uh, that was. <laughs> um, moral of the story. Caution people, honey. Caucasians. Caucasians. I call them concussions, honey. Because they ain't conscious about nothing. Okay. I'm going to be <laughs> Yeah, that movie was good. Okay. Uh, is that the African movie? Yes, Barbara O. Did you see it? Says it's a great narrator. Thank you, Naja. <laughs> Taste the Sin. Yes. Yeah, I heard um, A Taste of Sin was good. It's really good. Yeah, that thing had me in tears. It was so good. What channel is the Taste of Sin on? It's on Netflix. Flower Bloom. Big R and I show was thinking Mississippi. <laughs> God is not scary. No. A Taste of Sin on Netflix is our next um good one. Especially living in a high altitude. Child. Oh, tomorrow. Okay, tomorrow is a work day. Time to end the lives. That's yes. It is. I'm going to go in here and get my clothes. Well, I got my clothes together. Um, Take me a good old shower. And lay it down, baby. Lay it down. It's too early right now, though. But I'm going to go lay it down. Um, Y'all, but that was a good movie, y'all. It was good. Jeez, uh, Jessica Sassy is going to have me looking around like I'm crazy. <laughs> Oh, I, yeah, check that one out, Flower Bloom. Y'all would love that one, okay? Because that one is good. There's a, when you see it, it's two, it's a moral clause. Even though the two were redeemed, you gotta, you gotta look at it. Um, it's very good. It's very good. A Taste of Sin is our next one. That looks like it would be good. Split. Oh, that, now that's crazy right there. Y'all ain't never seen Split. That's a good movie right there, baby. And it's not scary. Split is a good movie. And the movie Glass with Samuel L. Jackson is good. But Split, you got to watch it. Split is a... If you don't watch it, you'll be so lost. I was talking about that God is not scary because that other movie is... <laughs> I know. Yeah, it was scary to me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, correct. The choice. Okay. Sleeping with the lights on. Oh, yeah. Was, oh, come on. Choice is a really good movie on Netflix. Choice. Okay. I'm going to have to watch that. I hadn't seen it. No, it takes the sin. It's not scary now. It looks like it would be good. Split is good. Split is a great movie that guy that played that movie he did phenomenal okay phenomenal going in and out of them personalities he did good when i get off tonight i'm going to watch the movie good god's grace it's good <laughs> mary willis i pass <laughs> split is a psychological thriller it's not scary it's a thriller. Take me out. Uh, tell me about Split. I like spoilers. Uh-uh. Yo, you're going to have to watch it. Uh-uh. <laughs> Yo, uh -huh. Look, she like the spoiler because she don't want to watch it. <laughs> that last thriller movie I see was Chucky. Chucky was funny. Ain't nothing scary about Chucky. Now, I'm going to tell you what movie messed y'all up when as, uh, as a kid. I'm going to tell you what movie messed me up. That movie called Damien? Hell nah. That movie had me up. I had to sleep with my mama for a week. That was the first demon movie I ever seen. Ever. Okay? Woo, child. That movie called Damien? No. Poltergeist didn't scare me like that movie. You remember that movie? Oh, child, that thing ruined me for life. <laughs> Candyman was my second. I, to the day that man that played Candyman, when I see him, I get chills. 
I'm serious. I, I, I ain't like Candyman. That music, yes, I love scary movies. I can watch them alone all of the time. Girl, what's the tea? Nah, that Damien movie, mm -mm. the one with the girl turning her head around. Oh, <laughs> the exorcist. Um, getting ready to look at Split. That's good. Yes, that's the Damien was scary. That probably one of the I, Candyman came later. But Damien was the first scary movie besides uh, Candyman that freaked me out. Y'all, when I say Damien put a new child, put a scare in me, I would sleep in my bed. And when I did, I was crawled up. Ooh, I'm not a scary movie person either. Uh, Children of the Corn was scary. It was, yeah, it was all right. Me too says I still get chills when I see that guy who played Candyman. Me too, Kelly. My husband talking about let's watch the new Candyman. I said, You watch it by yourself. I ain't watching that man. My kids laugh. They said, Mama would not. She do not like that movie. The scariest movie with the uh was the exorcist. Uh uh. Damien was scary. Salem's Salem's lot was scary. Mm. Mm -mm. Damien was scary. That boy, mm, hell no. Now, yeah. <laughs> uh-uh, Damien was something else. I can't fool with that. Mm -mm, mm -mm. No ma'am, no ham, no slam. Nope, nope, and nope, nope. Uh, I used to be so scared of the birds. Yeah, that was kind of scary, but see, I can deal with movies like that. But when it comes to people cracking backs and walking backwards, hell no, I don't do that kind of stuff. Bruce Willis, the little boy saw dead people. Oh, that was good to me. That was a uh, thriller. Couldn't watch Candyman. Uh-uh. Candyman, uh-uh. Because, see, that that's real. <laughs> that stuff really... Mm -mm, mm -mm. Oh, thank you. I couldn't watch... I can't think about those... Mm -mm. I did not like the Candyman. Uh, hey, Rochelle, Michelle. Sassy, did you see here for the hot tea? Stormy got all of her body... But it's from Alibaba. Yeah, or AliExpress. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. I seen that. It says it didn't need any cash apps or super stickers. Well, I guess we'll try again tomorrow. Yeah, we will. Did anyone get Mel's products today? I just got the orange burst and got 50% off using. Cole has. He lives. Oh, I'm going to order the orange burst then. I, I didn't know she had any on there. Hey, tell her what's this, what movie I would not watch. Candyman. <laughs> uh-uh, but you got to say it out loud. Come over here and say it louder. Tell her what movie I refuse to watch. Candyman. <laughs> I told y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's right. I don't like birds now. Sassy, don't forget the, the post up. Oh, okay, Deborah Moore, thank you. Now, as y'all try to tell y'all, I would not watch no candy man. Hey, Tango, what you got? What he get? Oh, okay. Hey, Keisha Brooks, candy man was funny and scary. It wasn't funny to me. It wasn't nothing funny about it. My husband can't even get me to watch it right now. I got my two orders today. Oh, okay, Latricia. Thank you, boo. Yeah, I got a text also for 50% off. I think I'm going to order the blueberry. What's Shanita got? Oh, that live. I, you know what? I am going to order that. I got to go to Shanita's... Um, Instagram and order it. Hey, sir, Grace, Grace Stoke. I got to hook up with Master P deserved and Oscar. Huh? Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, my leggings came today along with my uh, blueberry. How the leggings look? Ah, uh -huh, Keisha. Keisha, ain't nothing funny about Candyman. Candyman is a demon man. 
Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Yeah, my husband tell you, they've been trying for for two years to get rewatch came to me. I when they start watching it, I walk out the room. Mm-mm. He talking about I got the hook up with Master P deserving an Oscar. Okay. The blue um blueberry smells so good and the orange versus the two. Okay. Okay, I'm going I'm gonna order that too. They are nice and soft for sure. I'll wear them this weekend. Okay. Queen Slim was good. It really was. I'ma tell you, um, what's the one with um in the sunken place? Now that was funny. When the black guy with them big old eyes. <laughs> dated that white girl and they go with the crazy guy. You know, that was fun. It's still scary. I ain't watching it. No more uh uh-uh, uh case. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Nope. And nope. <laughs> Mm-mm. That man still looks scary to me. If I was to see him, I'd run. Hip hop say, what's wrong with that food? She's selling her the drink that she um has is called Alive. Alive. Yeah, keep breathing is good. Yeah, it look good on Melody. I hope she have like it um like one X is. Yeah, Perry was kind of scary. I'm going to tell you another one that scared the shit out of me, y'all. Is that thing called the car? Oh! The car? Mm-mm. Yeah. I got the orange birds yesterday and the oil today. Mmm. That oil is, oh my God, I love that oil. That was a good movie. He do look scary in real life. Yes. Uh-uh. If I see that man, I'm running, Keisha. I don't care how old I am. I can be on a doggone um, cane. I'm getting out of town. Sad at the end, Queen of Sim. Yeah. Barbary, you have to go to, um, you can go to um, Mel's um, Instagram. Or you can type in 7th Avenue and um, click the link. Y'all, if y'all never got her lip primer, y'all need to get that. That's the, that's some good stuff. That is one of, I love that stuff. I'm going to definitely order that today. Jeepers Creepers. That was okay. Wrong turn was crazy. I can watch it, but it was crazy. With them inbreds. Mm-mm. That's why I never heard of some of these movies. I'm a hallmark. <laughs> mm. That primer is the bomb. When I tell you that stuff stay on all day, I ain't never bought nothing to stay on my lips all day. I used to have to reapply. Not that primer. I was good to return <clears throat> the living dead. Oh, that was scary to me. That was funny, because what I did was laugh at how them people were looking. Then I had the body all, ooh. Mm-hmm. All right, y'all. I'm going to go in here, scrub my lips, <laughs> put my primer on, wash my face with my 7th Avenue facial cleanser and moisturizer and hydrating spray. I use that every night, y'all. As y'all can see, my little melasma is getting better. 
Thanks for the mind. I just ordered the orange burst and blueberry. Okay, uh, Justice Sophia. I ordered the lip primer, face cleanser, moisturizing, body moisturizer. Ooh, you're going to love it. Hey, baby. Um, okay. Yeah, I love that manga. All right, you guys. Well, I'm going to go in here, get myself ready for work tomorrow. I got three-day work day. Um, and then Friday, I got to go to take my mom to her doctor's appointment. And then I have to, another doctor's appointment on that Wednesday, to, that Tuesday to take her to. Who's that? Who, what? What? Teresa say what? <laughs> I told him he shouldn't mention Mel's name and name and got blocked. Who blocked you, Teresa? <laughs> Heavily on Carlos talking about she believed Mel and Martel would get back together. Heavenly is a delusional crackhead. <laughs> Mm-mm. Never. Mm-mm. Mel do not want Martel. Mm-mm. Hey, Miss Denise, how you doing? <laughs> Teresa, he blocked you. Oh, <laughs> I ordered the new scrubs and two body oils. Darn. How in the world? Of course he's going to block you. He don't want to hear nothing. Heaven needs to sit down. Ain't nobody desperate like her. <laughs> oh, well, Teresa, maybe she unblock you. <laughs> All right, you guys. Y'all have a good night. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.